Hey guys, this is Jay here from Chandler, Arizona. Let's talk about Future of Work and the recent OpenAI conference which happened and my key takeaways for these open for the OpenAI conference. Uh, there are six key takeaways and if you stay till the end, there is a bonus one I have thrown in which is from even more recent news after the conference. Number one is now you can customize Gen AI for your business. So just like Microsoft was creeping into Gen AI's business by giving uh, a version of, of GPT uh, large language model in their tools, now OpenAI is starting to give, creep into Microsoft's domain by giving an enterprise version, which is specific to in, your enterprise, which you can map and marry to your databases, data of which will not leave your uh, your instance and the firewall of your, of your instance. So OpenAI is moving towards the enterprises. Number two is, uh, they announced something called as GPT-4 Turbo, which is basically more tokens. So if you use Claude.ai or some other LLMs, you will notice that they take many more tokens, which means that your context of giving an answer is much better. Gen AI is also moving towards that particular concept by giving a new version called GPT Turbo, which will take many, many thousand plus tokens for a vis-a-vis -vis whatever, 300 or 400 tokens now. Number three is um, uh, GPT is gonna gain more and more features and modalities. Now GPT-4 is also gonna be able to help you with images just like Wall-E and some other uh, large language models, which would also mean more features for the apps in its marketplace uh, to build and a more end-to-end -end understanding of, uh, a, of an AI app rather than you go as a user, you going into different large language models, you can make one large language model your end-to-end -end, uh, place to get all your features. Number four is as OpenAI releases GPT Turbo per token cost for an end user is going down. So they are working really, really hard to make it cheaper for end users to use, uh, use AI. Number five, which was very interesting, was Satya Nadella was actually on stage in the dev conference, which means that though OpenAI and Microsoft are kind of encroaching each other's uh, domains, uh, their partnership is still gonna stay, you know, uh, from the conference, the way it looks like is their end goal is to make AI available for everybody so that they can amplify people's jobs, people's day-to-day -day personal lives and uh, other things where AI can make a positive impact, leaving people to focus on their family, job, business goals, etc. Number six is uh, a design level tool which GPT has created in its for its marketplace entrepreneurs to to make, to ensure that they can give GPT prompts within say a game or some other app they have without writing any code. Till date, an entrepreneur would have to write some code, maintain a, you know, a vector database to maintain context and things like that. Now it has a much more clicks, not code kind of a tool to actually create GPT prompts right in their, inside their game. There are already games which exist, but people had to code for it. Now you don't. Uh, there was a live demo for that on stage uh, by Sam Altman as well. And since you have been here for these six points, last, the most bonus uh, announcement, which happened after a few days of, uh, of the conferences, Sam Altman did commit that they are working on GPT-5, which would be in magnitude better than GPT-4 or GPT-4 Turbo, which has been, which is being trained on much, much more data, which is being sourced from every source publicly available just now and 
while doing that they are also trying to reduce the cost of gpt5 for end users to bring some equity and equality in the game as well but the latest nvidia processors i think h500 or something like that are still very very costly and not available that freely that is the reason their cost is still not going down as a normal technology curve would go down as thank you very much if you like this video please like share and subscribe and uh, uh, let's collaborate on comments on in the video thank you